Hey, what's up? My name is Moose from Grandma's House Audio. Check me out online, grandmashouseaudio.com. Uh, today, I have a tutorial about Vocaline. So I follow a lot of forums online, and I'm on some Facebook recording groups and stuff like that, and I see this question pop up all the time. And I used to have this problem, but I think I figured it out, so hopefully this helps you. Now what the problem is, is you have a vocal, like right here I have a melody highlighted, and I have a harmony that goes along with it. The wind tells stories through the trees. And you want to use something like Vocaline to tighten it up. So what you do is you capture the melody right here. And then you go down to the harmony, you hit dub and capture a line, and then you hit spot, and then you get this crazy looking thing down here. The wind tells stories. What is that? That's not right. Undo that. So what I have found the problem is, is that there's usually a region after it or before it. And look, there's a region right there before it. So all you do, what I just did there, you take it, you highlight it, and you mute it. Apple M or Control M. Sometimes all you got to do is just take a little bit of something. Hit B to split it, and then hit mute. But in this case, it's just easier to highlight this whole thing and mute it. But usually, you have a whole session with a chorus and bridge and all this other stuff. And you don't want to highlight the whole track and mute the whole thing. You get the point. So, anyways, you just mute it. It just makes that region inactive, basically. Then you highlight it, what you're trying to dub or vocaline or whatever. Hit capture. Did you see how this thing up here went away? Check it out. This was what it looked like before. There was this blob right here, this these nipples and stuff. It's because this region right here was chilling over there like, yo, I'm here, I'm messing up your vocal line. And then you just hit Apple M and make it inactive and say, no, don't mess up my vocal line. Then you just highlight the melody, hit capture, or whatever you're vocal lining. Go down to whatever you're trying to align, hit dub, capture, align, spot. There it is. Sometimes you'll get these little yellow lines that are just like perfectly straight, and you'll get this little buzz. Did you hear that right there? Right, this, this stuff right here. That's okay. Sometimes it happens. I literally just pull that region back, do a little fade. The wind tells... Boom, now you can't even hear it. Check it out. The wind tells stories through the trees. Okay, so it was a little weird sounding at the end because I'm pretty sure I already vocalized this before. But that's how you do it. I see a lot of people say you got to make sure the regions are the same length and they start and end at the same point and the fades, there's no fades and stuff like that. That does not work for me. I've tried that, it just doesn't seem to work. As you can tell, I just vocalized these, I did not edit them. I had these start at different points. I have weird fades. These fades are at different points. All I did was highlight it, hit capture, go down, hit dub, capture, align, spot, it worked. You just gotta make sure if there's any regions before it or after it, you just make them inactive. Once you vocaline it, just hit Apple M again and it makes them active again, but your stuff is vocalized. Thanks for watching. Moose from Grandma's House Audio. Hope that helps.